My name is Joe Price and I live in Pentarup in the Ronda and I'm a soldier in the British Army in the Welsh Guards. I started giving blood roughly in 2009-2010. Uh, basically my family have always given blood so it was sort of natural for me to start doing it as well. It's been a couple of times which I've had to miss obviously because I've been away but every time that I'm home I make sure that I try, try my best to give when I can. For me, it sounds corny, but it does save lives. If everyone thought they, that they didn't have to do it, then there wouldn't be any at all. So it's just, like I said, it's the obvious thing to do, really. The main reason which I give blood is because of my blood type, which is O neg, in the sense that obviously mine can put, be put into anybody. I joined in May 2010 and done my training up in Cadrick in, in Yorkshire. And then as soon as I left training, I was basically told that I was getting deployed to Afghanistan. I think it was three months after I finished training. So yeah, obviously everything was really chaotic and it all came around really fast, but then when I was out there, it was sort of a constant threat day to day of obviously the, the reality of getting hit or seeing people get hit, whether with rounds or explosions. You see firsthand you know, in front of you how important it is to have blood stored because you see boys losing blood there and then, and you know that they're going to need it, but obviously when they get back to you know, Camp Bastion, so obviously pretty close to me. I couldn't imagine what it was like for the people back home, the family and stuff, so it must be horrible. Like, you just gotta try and tell them no, no news is good news sort of thing and just wait until you hear from me. I think it was harder for them than it was for me really, because obviously I knew all the time where I was and what I was doing. And there's times where the phones might be down, the internet might be down, so you, you know, it could go days at a time where you can't get in touch with your family. And the only thing for them to do is think of the worst. So they straight away probably think you're in danger or you're hurt or this, you know, but they didn't realise this. Sometimes we just can't you know, get in touch with people back home, which is worse for us. And there's a couple of operations you do where you spend five, six or you know, seven days in a, in a checkpoint somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And also you've got no, no ways of getting in touch with back home. When you first obviously you miss just being able to talk to your family and also be there with your family and stuff and friends. But then when you realise that it's your job for the next seven months, you've got to try and sort of completely switch off and forget about back home. You've just got to rely on the people you're out there with to keep all your spirits high and, and you've got to because obviously you're looking after each other. You're literally looking after each other's lives, so you've got to trust each other. The last sort of two, three weeks of the tour, all your head is focused on is coming home. It's all, you know, every second of the day, all you can think about is coming home. And then basically you spend like a three or four days um, in Camp Bastion when you fly out of your patrol base back into Bastion. So that when you fly back there, like all the boys that you haven't seen for a couple of months because you've been split up, obviously you all come together and then you know the spirits, the, the morale is massive. So, but then uh, you all fly home and then just reality hits you know, when you get back into the UK and it's you know, tipping down with rain and last thing you know that you're home. You can, you can never switch off because you feel for the guys who are still out there now, especially if you're coming up to Christmas time and everything. So, it'll, it'll be emotional this year. I think just being able to make it home and spend you know, Christmas will be, that's it'll be the best thing for me. Like, and obviously you can't put a price on that. So.